Hey guys, welcome back to the Laravel 5.6 and React.js tutorial. Um, in this session, we're going to be uh, using the data we've got from our API and we're going to be displaying it via our React components. And to do that, we're going to need to use a client called Axios. Um, it's a package we can install with Node. And um, that allows us to do HTTP requests like get, post, um, delete, and update. And to do that, we're going to want to open up our terminal window to begin with, like usual. And we're going to want to make sure that we got um, PHP Addison serve running. I'm going to duplicate this tab. And I'm going to do npm install axios hyphen hyphen save. And this is going to install the package. By the way guys, I'm going to try to um, keep these videos short, so if you ever need to refer to them in the future, you can always come back and find the exact video, rather than have to trawl through like an hour long video. So yeah, um, now I'm going to want to do npm run watch. This will listen for changes in our JavaScript files, so whenever we save something, it will automatically compile. And then, build successful, we're going to want to open up our project. Just to show you, the root of the site shows our example component still. And uh, we're going to want to make a new component called blog. So, in resources, assets, JS components, I'm going to duplicate the example.js. I'm going to name it blog. And I'm going to rename the example element blog, the example class blog, sorry. I'm going to uh, render it into a blog element. And I'm going to just change this text so we can see it working. Let me just make this full screen. I'm going to change this to blog. I'm going to save it. And then within the assets.js folder, there's an app file. And I'm just going to duplicate this line. I'm going to reference that component, blog, build successful. Uh, then I'm going to comment out this examples uh, example component. Let's split my screen again. I'm going to refresh. As we can see, we can see our blog component um, on the front end of the app. So that's great. We can start using the Axios um, package. And to do that, we're going to want to go back into our component. And as you can see, we've got the text here, but it, it's not showing any data. And to do that, I'm going to import axios from axios uh, this is going to allow us to use that package um, within here I'm going to do a constructor method and um, in here we're going to set our initial states um, I'll show you what I mean by that if I do super super basically uh, gives us an object of the initial state um, of the app before it renders. I'll show you that by console login super and inspect a refresh. Um, by the way, if you don't know how to use um, developer tools, I highly suggest you um, watch a tutorial on it because this is how you debug problems and you can see your objects, etc. So because I've console log this super, uh, keyword. It's going to show this object and as you can see state is set to null. We want to set the state by default and we want to set it name it, named to what we're retrieving data so we're going to be calling it blogs and I'm going to do set state, not this, sorry, the state equals and then we're going to set this object blogs and then an empty array. I'm going to save that, refresh, and I'm going to console log super again. <coughs> and we've got an empty um, object in here, well, an array called blogs. And now we want to fill that with data. We, we need to get that data from the API. So to do that, we're going to use a method called component will mount 
And this is basically um, going to retrieve whatever's in here before the app is actually rendered correctly. So, um, yeah, before it initializes. So I'm going to do axios.get. And then we're going to specify the root of our API. If you remember, it was forward slash API, forward slash blog. And then we're going to get the response. We're going to set the variable we want the data to be named as. So we're going to say response. And then within here, we want to do this dot set state. And when we want to set blogs, so we're setting this object or array to the response dot data. So we're getting all the data back from the API, and we're going to be setting it there. If this doesn't work, we're going to do um, catch. I'm going to do error. So we're assigning the errors to a variable called error, and we're then going to display it in the console. So console dot log error, well I'll say errors because more than likely we will have more than one ok great refresh that everything's still working so what I can do now is console log the state again but I should do it inside here maybe um, Oops. Oh, actually, what I'll do is I'll just dive straight into it and I will uh, retrieve the data and we can just display this um, data there so it's going to be easier. I'll do. Um, what was it now? So we're going to say this dot state. So we're accessing the state again. Then we want to access this blog, blogs. And um, we want to do map. Uh, map is essentially the for each loop that we use in React. And sorry, we're going to do blog. So we're setting each of these blog elements from here. So blogs, we're going to do blog as blog as we were doing PHP. And we're going to show a list element for each of them. Blog.body. I'm going to close the ally. And then I'm going to save. Oh, we don't need a semicolon. And as you can see, we retrieved the information. And that is now coming from our React component as opposed to just a raw um, JSON from the API. And yeah, this is basically the essentials of uh, the Axios and the really basic uh, functions. But we're going to go into it more and we're going to start using React, Router, etc. So yeah, just subscribe if you find this video useful and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.